Hi there, and welcome to another enchanting episode of Toy King Wonders Toy Box. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard of mag power? Ever? I'm willing to guess you have not. Mag power made the toy I'm about to show you, which is really interesting, but they may be a little bit more well-known for making football and baseball games where you manipulated the players on a game board via handheld wands with magnets in them and move the players around the play board in that way. My sisters had described to me a toy they had when they were kids right around the time I was born, maybe a little later, a year or two later, early 60s. And I have a copy, and sure enough, of the toy that they described to me, copyright 1963, but they had described to me a, a dollhouse, basically, where the miniature dolls were controlled by magnets from underneath a game board. And I thought they were describing uh, something called Thimble City, which Remco made in the mid to late 60s, if I remember correctly. But they insisted it was not Remco Thimble City when I showed them pictures of it on eBay. What it was was the precursor to all this from Mag Power. It was Mary Mag Power's Magic Dollhouse. And here it is, Mary Mag Power's Magic Dollhouse from Mag Power. And this is a mid-century modern marvel. The illustrations on this are fantastic. The toy is really, really amazing. Um, I'm not into collecting a lot of quote-unquote girls' toys. Uh, I like the more mechanical truck, motorized sort of spectrum of toys. However, um, I inherited my sister's Chatty Cathy doll by Mattel her set of little kittles, and I had a couple little kittles when I was a little boy, I still have them. Uh, so I am not completely immune to the charms of very, very creative toys that were aimed at the little girl market. Uh, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Uh, we collectively do not know what happened to my sister's set, but this is what they had. This is the exact model of what they had. This is the toy. It was only out for a year or so. I don't know what happened to Mag Power, the, the company. Uh, I did some research on it. The actual address is a building that's not there anymore, up near San Francisco. And whatever they were, they must have been very, very small. I'll give you an example of some of the uh, toys that they did make because this particular item here is extremely complete. The box is a little beat up but the graphics are nice. And it is probably the most complete one that I've ever, I've only seen a few of these on eBay and they're usually very incomplete. But this one I think is totally complete. Inside the toy, I found this really nice little brochure on the various Mag Power games. And you can see here's a hockey game, here's a basketball game, a spaceship game, a cattle roundup game, all using these little wands with magnets on them to move the players around on the game surface. Not unlike the dollhouse, which I'm going to show you. And the dollhouse, by the way, there is baseball and football games. The dollhouse is pictured right here. Okay. If we look at this, the first dollhouse where things move magically. The invisible power of your magic wand, etc. And there is a really cool mid-century modern house with three little girls dressed very much in the period uh, plane with the Mary Magpower's magic dollhouse. Very nice little brochure in superb condition. I'm lucky to have it. If we open this up, 
Now most of the pieces and such are not in here, but I wanted to show you what the box looked like. When I received it, all the furniture, this had been opened before, but this is the original packaging material. And whoever had this before very nicely put all the furniture back in the compartments it came from, some of which I still have not removed from how they had put it back in there. I don't think they were in here from original. I think they had, this had been played with a few times, but put back with great care. Uh, carefully taped, put back in each little compartment. I was amazed. I've never seen a, a, a toy that had been played with that had been put back to such original sort of shipping uh, condition. This is one of the ones, and it wasn't until, I've only set this up one time and showed it to my sisters and let them, they play with it for hours. This is about three months ago. Uh, one of the ones has a little magnetic ball attached to it. But this is one of the ones, and you'll notice that it has a magnet in here, and this is the, the moving surface right here that goes underneath the playing board. And this is some of the furniture. There's the doors for the house right here. These are just some support units. The house itself is like a heavy cardboard material with uh, clear windows that are made out of clear plastic. I'll also point out that I even got this important notice thing. We're still in here. The plane surface was glazed and polished at the factory. You can use Johnson spray wax on it to keep the board in perfect playing condition so that everything slides nice on the board. Very cool. I have that notice as well. What the house looks like, um, this is actually uh, the base and the roof of it right here, which I haven't taken back out of the box. As a matter of fact, I don't really reassemble the house when my sisters were playing with it. I didn't really reassemble the house because I didn't want to put wear and tear on the locking grooves or anything like that, the actual material. Um, this is, I believe, the fireplace that was never, never set up, never folded into place. Like I said, I don't think this was played with more than a, a few times. So I also wanted to share with you some close-ups of this art on the uh, on the uh, cover of the toy. Inside this box is the world's first magnetic action dollhouse. It comes to life with the touch of a magic wand. Another miracle from Mag Power. And there you can see the little girls playing with it, which is the same picture that was in the little brochure. There's Mary herself setting up a table. Here is a picture of the various furnishings and her husband. I'm not sure what his name is. The underside of the top lid of the, of the toy has instructions on how to set the dollhouse up. Okay. And suggestions on how to move the players and what they can do is all down here. And as I mentioned, the, uh, the graphics and the instructions were plentiful on this toy. Very, very, very neatly and stylishly done. Now here is an aerial view of the dollhouse. And I don't have all the walls put together because, like I said, I don't want to put wear and tear on the tabs and all that. So I just kind of propped a few of the walls up in place. The foundation is kind of like a sort of a cardboard supported by a kind of a heavy paper or heavy um, plaster board. I'm not quite sure what kind of board it is, but it's a wood type board with these individual legs that I've gently kind of put into place here. These little, uh, you scroll over so you can see them, these little plastic legs right here that the thing sits on and gives you space to manipulate the wands underneath it. So what you do, just generally speaking, and I'm going to show you close-ups on all this wonderful stuff, but you have Mary here, and you have her husband here, and the idea was you took these wands and put them underneath the board. See, I'm going to go underneath the board and connect to them. 
and you can move them around the house. Mary has a magnet underneath her hand and so does he which allows you to do all sorts of adventures. Okay, I'll get some better shots on this. Why are you taking my picture? Leave me and my wife alone. I'm gonna go in here and get something to eat. I'll make you a sandwich, dear. Whee! I'm in my GE all electric kitchen. I might mow the lawn a little bit, dear. Go out and see how the pool is. Now, how's my sandwich coming? <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> Shall we dance? Your breath smells like beer. <laughs> I've taken too much mother's little helper. Darling, what's happened to you? Get up, I still need my sandwich. The house is a triumph of design. I mean, look at the, the bookcases, the drapes on the windows, uh, some sort of musical instrument hanging on the wall. It's a beautiful little house, all detailed in these cardboard, they're kind of a layered walls. They've kind of got, um, uh, if you can see, it's not just a flimsy piece of cardboard. There's multiple layers glued together which allows them to put in these plastic windows which except for one are all in really good shape on this one. You know and they've got you know tile and carpets of different colors in there. This is a really nice house. It's time for dinner. I'm going to make my husband something special. I've got a delicious marinade I'm getting ready to put on the stove. My GE Magic Chef oven and stove are going to cook up a wham-bam of a meal. Meanwhile, it's time for Mr. Powers to do some yard work. Dad's gardening seems to have dug up an old bone that Piddles the Poodle buried several months ago. The bone seems to have a mind of its own. And poor Piddles faints from all the excitement. But he's up again to attack the bone. And down. <laughs> we think the poor little poop pooch has gone out of his mind. 
Also making a guest appearance is Pfeiffer, the filthy field mouse. Pfeiffer is looking for cheese, but he doesn't want to run across the Powers cat. That flea-bitten feline known as Feces. Feces the cat is nearby and he smells a rat. Yes, Feces the cat moves in. Oh, the fight is on. Before much damage can be done to either of these disgusting animals, the mouse has a great idea. Get off this joyride and make a run for it. And he makes a run for his home. If he could only find a way down. He's gone! And his feline pursuer can do nothing about it. <laughs> oh great, I got a cat and a rat. That's not good. Where's my beer? <laughs> Saw inside the box that there's a whole bunch of furnishings. There's a bed, there's a sofa, there's an ironing board with a magnet on it and a little iron. There's chairs like this. I can't really sit in them because they don't fold, but it looks nice around the table. Here's the kitchen table. All really nice. And then to show that this thing has not really been played with, the previous owner took all the small parts and put them in a little container here. Here is a magnetic piece of mail. You can see right here. Okay. Various pots and pans, lids. There's the iron still on its sprue. There's a grapefruit, four halves of a grapefruit for, for breakfast. All magnetized. And there's a little unused label for the mailbox. The Mag Powers. Is that amazing or what? This just gives you a very brief tour and demonstration of this really adorable toy from the early 60s. Mary Mag Powers Magic Dollhouse. And it really is cool and really is fun. Rare as hen's teeth. But if you can find one, you might have an afternoon of fun ahead of you.